Hello and welcome to this session. So today we are going to learn about sets and sets is a very very interesting topic and we will see in a very easy way how we can work with sets in Python. So I will go to my PyCharm and here I will create a new Python file. So I will go to right click new Python file and I will name this as Python sets and say ok and we use curly braces to create sets in python and we have already seen lists and tuple earlier so list we use square brackets tuple we use uh, circular or round brackets and for sets we use curly braces and the difference here is sets are unordered they are unindexed and there are no duplicates allowed in the sets so out of these four uh, collections data type in python we have list tuple set we have already seen list and tuple and let us see sets today so here you can create a set with a curly braces and you can give any name for example i will say my set equals to and i will give a curly braces and i can give any element so i will say this is chalk and i will add more i will add duster and i will say board so i have created a very simple set and i can always print it so i can say print my set and i will do a right click and run python sets so it is printing the entire elements of this set now in set you cannot do something like you cannot access with the index so i cannot use something like get my set at index position one something that we were able to do in list and tuple you cannot do this because this is unindexed and unordered so but you can always use a for loop so i can say for x in my set and a colon and i will just print the values i will say print x and if i run this now i can get all the values here and of course if you want to check if some particular value or element is present in the set you can select or you can check with for example i want to check chalk is present so I can say chalk in my set and it will give me a true if this is existing and if I run this now it is saying true so chalk exists in my set and this we can do in list and tuples as well so you can do these operations and then you can do a lot more operations for example I can say my set and dot you can see all these operations you can do now you can also do these mathematical operations like intersection union and this is something very interesting we will see this as well but for now let me show you you can do a add so you can say add and I am just adding one more element pen and then if I print my set if I run this you can see pen is added now this is not necessary that it will be added at some particular position or index it can be added anywhere randomly because this is unordered and then you can also say my set dot update if you want to add multiple elements and then you should add all these elements inside a square bracket so for example I want to add pencil and I want to add eraser so if you want to add multiple elements at once you can use update and if I print my set now I will have all these elements added so you can see all these elements are added so this is how you can add single elements or multiple elements then you can always do a lot of other operations uh, with sets you can always find the length by using the len and then you can say my set so this will give you the length of your set and then you can say my set dot remove and you have to give the element name for example I want to remove pencil and then if I print my set now it will not have pencil and you can see it has removed pencil also you can use the discard function so for example I can say my set dot discard and I want to remove pen so this will remove pen and if I print let me just print the set again I will say print my set and run this and you can see it has removed pen as well now what is the difference between remove and discard so let us see if I run this again if I copy this and paste it here and I also copy the discard function and paste it here now here pencil is already removed so it is not available and still we are running remove and again pen is not available still we are running discard 
let us see what happens I will run this and you can see an error here so here it is saying key error pencil so this is the difference if you are trying to remove something which is not already existing it will throw an error but it will not throw an error when you use discard so whenever you want to remove something which you are not sure whether that exists in set or not you can use discard instead of remove so if I run this now you can see there is no error so you can use discard as well and then there are other elements or other functions for example you can say my set dot pop so this will remove elements randomly you can also say my set dot clear so this will remove all the elements and if you try to print my set now they will be empty set so if I run this you can see the set is empty and if you want to delete the set you can always use the delete keyword and give the set name so this will delete the entire set so this is what you can do the basic operations and also there is something interesting you can do with set for example I am creating a set and I will name this as my set 2 and I say this is equals to and in the curly brackets I give some different values I say apples and then you can use different data types I can also say 1 2 and then you can also use other elements or data types for example I in the brackets I give 3 4 5 so all this is valid in sets I can always print and I will say my set 2 and if I run this now you can see it is printing the entire thing and if you want to convert a list to a set you can always do that so for example I am declaring a list I will say my list and for list we use square brackets I am saying this has 1 2 3 and I will print my list here so this is my list now if I want to convert it to a set let me create a set I will say this is my set 3 and to convert we use the keyword set and in the brackets I will give my list so this will convert list to a set and I will print my set 3 so let us run this and you can see it has converted a list to a set so you can convert list to a set as well now let us see something very interesting that you can do with sets so with sets we can do mathematical operations like union and we can do intersection so these you must have studied in your maths class and even if you have no idea I will just explain you what this means so you can do a difference you can do a symmetric difference and let me tell you what does this mean so here I will create two sets and I will say this is a and in the curly brackets I will give some values so I'm saying this is this has values a b and 1 and then 2 and 3 so I have declared a set A and I will declare another set B and I will again give some values and I will say this has B and C and I will say 3 4 and 5 so we have two sets now and you can see there are some common values as well now we can do a union and I can say A dot union and B so if I print this I will say print a union B and that means it will combine all the elements and it will list out all the elements of a as well as set B so if I run this you can see it has printed all the elements from a and B and of course you can use the symbol for union so the symbol for union is this pipe symbol so this is a union b and if i run this now you can see it has given me the same output you can also do intersection so for example i can say a dot intersection of b so this will give us the common elements from both of these sets and you can also use the symbol for intersection which is a and i have to use and this is the symbol for intersection and B. So if I run this now, 
you can see it has given us the common elements which is 3 which is present in both the sets and b which is again present in both the sets so you can do an intersection uh, then you can do a difference so i can say a dot difference b or i can also use symbols so i can say something like a minus b and if i run this so you can see it has printed the values which are present in A but not in B. If you say B minus A, it will print out the values which are present in B and not in A. And you can also do a symmetric difference and for that you can say A dot symmetric. Uh, let me see this should be symmetric difference. Yes, it is available and B and also we can use the symbol. I can say print. A and the symbol is this cap symbol and B and if I run this now you can see it has given us all the data which is unique to both A and B so all the common elements are not printed and all the unique elements from both A and B are printed in symmetric difference so these are some very interesting things you can do with sets I hope this session was very useful for you thanks a lot for watching